Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and good morning anak-anak children. Um, okay. This morning we are going to take a look on two more websites that going to help you at home on your own study. Okay. Uh, I need to say something here. Why did I last week and this week I've shared with you a few websites. Uh, not much of learning taking place, but more to what you have to do on your own. Okay, I took these two hours uh, to show you, or uh, to tell you that there are ways for you to learn English, not only in school, but on your own at home. Uh, but of course, you have to have a computer and access the internet. Okay, now as promised last week, uh, last week we did on one on how to go through the search engine, uh, search engine, Google, and we go through a website known as Cambridge Assessment English. I hope you, those who have access to computer and those who have access to internet line, you have gone through, you have uh, take your time to go through the Cambridge Assessment English. Okay, this week, I'm going to introduce to you two more websites that can really help you and it is more to fun learning. Kamu akan seronok belajar menggunakan website-website ini. Okay, uh, it's a fun way of learning. Saya percaya. Dan kamu, kalau kamu rasa boring sikit, if you feel bored looking at the activities given, you can even play games in this website. Okay, number one, fun learning, uh, fun learning websites that I'm going to introduce to you is National Geographic Kids, Net Geo Kids. Okay, baik. Ini yang banyak dibuka oleh anak-anak. Uh, Uh, kalau kamu tengok dalam National Geographic ni dia lebih kepada banyak kepada tumbuhan dan haiwan dan juga manusia. Okey, kita akan tengok satu-satu kerja -satu lagi. Okey, we will look at the activities and I will try to show you as many as I could because we have only around 45 50 minutes together this morning. And then the other one is Britannica Kids. Okey, for students. These are the two websites that uh, can help you learn English at the same time and reach and reach your knowledge your general knowledge okay now we will go to the website okay okay The first one, um, like last week, first and foremost, you have to open up your search engine Google, or if you're using other search engine, it doesn't matter. Then what you have to do is just to type kidsnationalgeographic.com. I will pause here. Okay, kidsnationalgeographic.com. Okey, uh, bila kamu buka di sini, uh, kemudian kamu teruskan, kamu akan jumpa National Geographic Kids. Baik, di sini, uh, di sini kamu tengok ada games, animals, videos, amazing animals macam-macam lah. Okey, kalau kamu klik National Geographic Kids dan dia akan pergi ke laman web ini dia akan pergi ke page ini sorry they will go to this page where you can see you can have national geographic kids okay you can have games okay you look through see okay you will have games uh, quizzes personality quizzes action and funny fill in these are the games that you can play using this website okay And then you can go through videos like amazing, amazing animals, weird but true party animals, and try this. Okay, you have to go one by one. You go to the website and you go to one. 
one by one. And then animals, so you can learn about mammals, birds, prehistoric reptiles, amphibians, invertebrates, and fish. Okay, what is the meaning of that? Then you go to explore. Okay. You can look here, Native Americans, because this is an, an American-based website, so dia banyak cakap pasal Americans lah. Okay, kemudian kamu boleh tengok satu per satu. Okay, next. Kita pergi pada quiz. Okay, dalam pilihan quiz, in the quizzes here, there are hundreds and hundreds of quiz that you can do. Okay, bermacam-macam terletak kepada tajuk-tajuknya it depends on what you want to learn on that day on that particular day okay like today you want to learn about human body quiz for example you just click about human body quiz and you can go through okay tengok okay about how many has do most people lose every day about how many has berapakah bilangan rambut yang manusia akan gugur atau jatuh dari kepala lah sehari agak-agak kamu. Is it 75 strands? Is it 50 strands? Is it 35 strands or 10 strands? Strands itu adalah helaian. Okey, inilah contoh dia. Ini adalah contoh uh, kamu belajar untuk general knowledge. At the same time, you are improving your English. Because if you will look at the sentence here and if you really do not understand or you have problem understanding word or the sentence, you can pause. You can pause here. And you, of course, you can use dictionary to help you understand the question. Okay. Jawapan dia tadi, your hair, uh, you lose your hair uh, every day. Most people shed about 75 strands of hair in a day. Kita akan keguguran, akan hilang rambut 75 helai sehari. Lebih kurang lah rata-rata dia. Okey. Dah siap? Kamu akan tekan next. So, the second. Kalau kamu tengok di atas ni, there are 12 question you can answer here. Okey. The most common eye colour in the world is hazel, green, blue, brown. Kamu tengok orang putih ada mata biru, mata hijau semua. Baik. Tapi colour yang paling banyak dalam dunia adalah berwarna brown. Semua orang ke Malaysia kebanyakan warna bukan hitam tu. Kalau kamu tengok dekat-dekat, if you look at closely, your eyes are in brown. Okay, mata kamu warna brown, warna koko. Okay, kamu tengok betul-betul. Retina yang di tengah-tengah tu hitam. Okay, eyes come in different colours. But the most common eye colour is brown. Okay, baik. Next. Question number three. How fast does air rush out of your nose when you sneeze? Baik, ini satu soalan pengetahuan am yang kamu akan terkejut kalau kamu tahu. Kalau kamu tak tahu lagi benda ni lah. How fast does an air rush out of your nose when you sneeze? Bila kita bersin tu, berapakah agak-agak kamu kelajuan udara yang keluar daripada hidung kamu itu? Okey? Baik, kalau kita tengok sini, dia bagi up to 100 miles an hour. Ini kalau batu sejam dalam kilometer, dia adalah 161 kilometer sejam. Maksudnya, kalau kamu tengok your father drive a car, look at the meter, ada 100 kilometer sejam. Kalau eksiden, hati. Okay, kita tak minta lah perkara macam tu. Tapi itulah uh, menunjukkan how fast the air came out from your nose when you sneeze. What is the answer in your opinion? Is it 10 miles atau 16 km sejam? Macam orang, orang berjalan saja, berlari. 35 miles per hour atau 40 km sejam? Okey, jawapan dia agak-agak kamu. Is it A, B, C or D? But the answer is... Jangan terkejut ya. It is 100 miles per hour ataupun... Lebih kurang 161 km sejam. Okay. These are the things that you can learn from the quiz quiz through this website. Okay. Kita akan terus sekali lagi. True or false? Your sense of smell is strongest in the morning. Hidung kita akan kuat waktu pagi. Tak. Jawapan dia waktu petang. Okay. Uh, but nobody knows why it's like that. Mungkin dia tak cukup panas lagi. Okay. 
Tapi our sense of smell is very good in the evening. How many muscles do you use when you talk? Berapakah muscle yang kita gunakan bila kita bercakap? Jawapan dia adalah 72 muscles. 72. Okay. Next. How many breath does an average person take each day? Berapakah kita tarik dan keluarkan nafas sehari? It is around 25,000 times. Okay. 25,000 times. Next question. Um, question number seven. What does mucus do? Okay. Mucus ni adalah lendir dalam hidung kita. Okay. Mucus is very useful substance. It helps filter out harmful bacteria. Baik tugas dia adalah dia akan tapis bakteria yang masuk dalam hidung kita. Okey, ini soalan yang ke-8. Your heart is the size of Okey. Jantung kamu agak-agak sebesar mana jantung kamu? Is it the size of marble, biji guli, walnut, besar kacang tu ataupun your fist? penumbuk kamu atau sebesar watermelon. Jadi tak logiklah. Watermelon, buat mikai duduk dalam dada kita. But if you know the size of your heart, you simply do like this. Okay. And then, this is the size of your heart. A normal human heart. Kalau saya buat jantung saya besar ni lah. Kalau kamu buat besar tu lah. Lebih kurang. Your fist besar penumbuk kamu. Okay. The answer will be C. Your fist. Okay. The next question. Question number nine. True or false, your funny bones isn't really a bone. Baik, ada ini adalah istilah atau kata-kata uh, lah bahasa Inggeris kata dia kata funny bone tu maksud dia orang yang pandai buat lawak apa semua tu. But then there is not a funny bone in your body. Not a single bone in your body are called funny bone. Okay, your funny bone is really a nerve. Number 10. True or false? You are right-handed. The fingernails on your right hand grow faster. Kalau kamu aktif menggunakan tangan kanan, your fingernail in your right hand will grow faster than your left hand. If you are a left-handed person, kamu kidal, kuku, jari, kamu sebelah kiri akan tumbuh lebih cepat dari sebelah kanan. Kenapa? Why? If the answer is true, yang bagusnya, lama wak, the good thing about this particular website, if you even if you give the correct answer or wrong answer, if you give the correct answer, you need to know why. Okay? They explain to you. Studies have shown that fingernails on your dominant hand, dominant hand tu maksudnya tangan kita yang kita 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 selalu guna lah, yang kita tangan yang lebih kuat, yang dominant. Hand grow faster. Using your hand more may increase blood flow to the area. Dia akan mengaktifkan eran darah dalam tangan itu, which in turn may okay stimulate the growth, your nail growth. Okay, sebab dia aktif, dia akan stimulate macam muscle juga lah. If you are active person, you do exercise, hmm. and then you will be more muscular than those who are not very active, those who are passive at home. Okay, next. <coughs> Question number 11. Okay. What's the most commonly broken bone in human body? Tulang yang selalu patah pada manusia. What are the most, what is the most commonly broken bone? Jawapannya is your collarbone. Okay, if you ask me, where is that collarbone? Collarbone is here. Di bahu kamu. Kamu boleh pegang di sini. Ini dia panggil collarbone. Not your hands, not your legs. Ini ada yang patah tapi tak selalu seperti collarbone. Okay, you can go back uh, to this particular website. Kamu buka, sekejap saya akan tunjuk satu lagi website pada kamu, iaitu Britannica. Kamu boleh cari satu persatu, tulang ke apa ke. You can go one by one. Okay. And the last question. If a digestive uh, tract was stretched out, how long will it be? Kita buat clock usus dalam perut kita. Agak-agak panjang mana agak-agak. 
yang berlengkau-lengkau dalam perut ni. Okey, usus dalam perut kita hampir-hampir tak silap saya lah 6 meter. Okey, digestive tract itu sebab two cars lebih 12 meter. Okey, dalam perut kita. Okey, baik bila kamu dah dapat, dah selesai, dia akan beritahu you got 12 out of 12 answers correct. That is 100% percent, sorry, try again. Kalau kamu banyak melakukan kesalahan di sini, tak ada masalah. You can go and try again. But if you think you can answer the question easy, it is simple for you, you can go to more challenging quizzes. Like I said, there are hundreds and hundreds and thousands of quiz here. Ni kalau kita patah balik dan buat. Okay, next. We look at uh, games, ada quiz semua ni. And then there's another one, kita buka quiz. Kita boleh pilih lah yang mana kita nak belajar. Whichever that you like. Okay. You can go through the hundreds and hundreds of quiz and categories in this website. Okay. I just would like to show with you, uh, to share with you because this can really help you during the school holidays. Okay. Because once a week learning English is not enough. You have to do it every day. Now we look at videos, for example. If you go through videos, kemudian ambil amazing animals, atau weird, atau true, atau patrimo, atau try this one ni, kamu boleh tengok sendiri lah. I have no time to show you each and everything in here. But we go to one only and I show you about the video that you can learn. Okay, amazing animals. Yeah, right. Apa nak amazing animals? I'll go to a lot of videos here. Yeah? Uh, giant Pacific octopus, spotted owl, gorilla, raccoon, all you can learn here on your own. And then you go to the side, you can go through using this arrow. Okay, using this arrow, uh, arrow, you can go and choose back and forward. Which do you think that the video that will help you to learn? Uh, if you're interested in any animals, you can learn. Okay. Okay, I'll go back here and I will choose one video for you. Okay, for example, I will choose polar bear. Okay, when we go to polar bear, just... And now, it's time for some more amazing animals. Number 1,986,425. The amazing polar bear. Polar bear. Hello. Ah, there she is. Or sh Here is the button for you to increase and lower the volume. Should I say okay. Ursus Maritimus? Oh no, don't say it! Too late! I just did. It means maritime bear. Although mm -hmm. polar bears are mainly born on land, they actually spend most of their time at sea. You'll find them in the Arctic, which is here on the map. Oh, my finger just got cold. Sadly, it's estimated that there are only around 25,000 polar bears left. And there are fears that global warming may be partly responsible as they spend their lives on the shrinking ice. Anyone got an ice cube? Polar bears can weigh around 1700 pounds and be up to okay i will show you parts of the video you can choose you can learn everything here that lot of amazing things for you to learn here okay in this national geographic kits okay you can go through here this is study yang button tadi okay weird but true You can go to party animals. Okay, this is the fun side of the video. Yang ada sedikit lucu lah uh, untuk kamu tengok. Okay. And then you can go to action. Right, the action and adventure. Kamu boleh main <coughs> games. Kalau kamu dah boring, you have feel bored learning about all the animals, you can play games. For example, I'll choose one game here for you. Uh, Zeus the Mighty is like the game that you play at home. Okay? Play. Okay. Uh, this is, your task is very simple. You have to go up and collect all the coins. Macam game kamu main hari-hari di rumah lah. There will be no problem. You can jump higher 
like that but at the same time you will learn when you come to a certain certain stage there will be question is I'm, if i'm not mistaken will be question for you or this is one of the way for you to relax okay kalau kamu rasa video video tadi okey ni contohlah then you can play okey and then uh, kamu juga boleh pergi kepada games just of mighty kamu boleh buka tengok sini the characters the video the truth behind the podcast you can go through in that dalam satu page itulah kamu boleh check okey and then uh, kita pergi balik pada games Okay. Ada satu sini yang dipanggil funny fill in. Okey. Yang ini saya nak share lama sikit dengan kamu. Sebab funny fill in is one way for you to learn how to write a good comprehension. Okey. What are the activities here is they give you a scenario. Uh, they will give you a picture. Uh, and then you have to fill in the noun the adverb based on the pictures that are given up here you put in the past tense verb the adjective the type of transportation you can see in the picture the type of animals okay for example same animal i just write simply write the dog cat animal okay you just look at the picture and try to answer don't worry if you make mistake because when you push the button read here afterward they will give you the comprehension the complete the storyline they will give you and you will really have a really good laugh when you look at the sentence that you uh, sorry the words that you fill in don't worry if it, it is wrong don't worry just type in because at the end of these activities you will come up with a good comprehension that you can copy down at the same time you will learn all this new word this is very and this is a very interesting activity see if i just click read and i haven't fill in all the the boxes here then it will be highlighted in red meaning you have to redo until you must complete everything kamu kena siapkan semua okay uh, verb ending in ing washing for example okay if you want really want to learn new words here you really must have a dictionary with you and take your time slowly slow and easy for you to fill in all the answers here okay if you are filling everything okay we cut short we we'll look at the video okay okay i fill in everything and i click read Tengok ya, dia akan jadi funny. It will give you no meaning at all. Okay, because we just simply put in the words. The, this weekend, my mother, sister and I ran out, ran our fast car to car wash, to a car wash. Does it give meaning? No. Okay, because you just simply fill in. If you look at the picture, it's already changed. Okay, these are the missing, the main character in the story which is not given just now an elephant you look at this sentence then the creature falsely washed the cow with he, its ears basuh dengan telinganya everyone was covered in water we know where the supposed to be elephant came from tengok tak tadi kita ubah dog anjing kan sekarang who knows where that elephant came from now what you have to do now in the second round in the, of your activity is simply change the word redo change the word dog to elephant then it will give meaning to your comprehension to your story okay now can you understand uh, okay uh, what uh, the activity wanted you to do wants you to do is you have to fill in until all the sentence makes sense and become a very entertaining story okay Okay, there are certain words you have to change here. Okay. Okay, if you read through, we know where the dog came up from, but our car was never been so wide. Okay, look at this. Okay. 
these are the first videos that I need to share with you. Okay, the first website that really going to help you to learn English and at the same time widen your general knowledge. Now, we look at tutorial 2. Now, this is the, the second website that I think is very useful to you. Dia sangat boleh membantu kamu. Okay, yang tadi more to fun, more a lot on animals, plants. But if you go to Britannica, okay, Britannica is something that is very wide. Okay, it talks about everything and anything. Okay, dia akan cakap dengan apa saja, cakap tentang perkara apa saja. Britannica ni adalah satu encyclopedia. Encyclopedia yang lengkap tentang semua benda yang ada antara dunia. InsyaAllah, kalau tak semua pun sebab Allah yang maha mengetahui. Yang tak tahu semua. Tapi kebanyakannya ada dalam tu. Okay, kalau kamu tengok pada video tutorial dua ini. Okay. Baik, cara kamu nak pergi Sama juga, kita pergi kepada Google okay, Atau kepada Firefox Atau pada apa-apa saja search engine yang kamu guna rumah Tapi yang paling popularnya adalah Google lah okay, Apa yang kamu perlu buat di sini Bila dah sampai ke Google Macam biasa, ini sebagai latihan ulangan kepada kamu ya. Eh. Okey, Pergi Kamu type Britannica Ok Kamu type yang ini Kids Britannica Ok harap kamu boleh salin Atau kamu tengok video ni Kalau senang kamu terus type macam ni Kids Dot Britannica Dot com Ok kamu type Dan terus tekan enter kidsbritannica.com dan dia akan keluar di sini Britannica Kids nampak? Ya, okay, di atas ni Britannica Britannica Kids baik, di sini tekan Britannica Kids klik pada tajuk tu dan kamu akan masuk terus ke laman web ini Inspire, Inform, Educate baik kamu tengok di sini. Dia akan bagi tiga pilihan pada gambar ni. Bawah kids. Kids ini adalah untuk pelajar-pelajar yang umurnya daripada 6 hingga tahun hingga 11 tahun. Tak silap saya. Sebab dia gunakan grade di sini. Uh, ini adalah uh, laman web, website yang digunakan oleh pelajar-pelajar di Eropah, di luar negeri, di Amerika. So, dia tak ada macam kita tahun 1, tahun 2, tahun 3, dia ada grade. Okay. Baik, up to grade 5 maksud dia Di sini adalah untuk kanak-kanak sehingga umur 11 tahun Kalau tak silap saya Dan students grade 6 to 8 daripada umur 12 Tak silap saya kehingga ke 12, 13, 14 tahun Okey, 12 hingga 14 tahun Dan scholars ini grade 9 and up daripada umur 15 dan ke atas If you feel that if you go through this uh, yang kids ni dalam dalam kelompok ini if you feel the activities is too simple for you you can go to students which is a little bit higher then if you feel you can do this pun agak senang you can go to scholars okey maksudnya kamu pergi kepada latihan yang lebih mencabar tapi saya nasihatkan kamu mula dengan kids up to grade 5 and student okey jangan pergi ke scholars tu lagi contoh kalau kita buka student Okey, explore Britannica. Okey, kamu tengok dia ada macam-macam di bawah ni. Dia ada articles, dia ada image video, dia ada biographies, dictionary, world atlas, compare countries, membandingkan negara. Dan bawah ni ada A B C D E sampai Z. Ini kalau kamu tekan satu contoh dia P, dia akan keluar senarai semua benda dalam dunia yang dia tahu bermula dengan P. Okey, kalau kamu buka dictionary Contoh di sini, dia akan ajar kamu cara untuk sebut, okay. cara kamu untuk sebut dan dia akan sebutkan untuk kamu dan it will explain you the meaning. It will explain you what does it mean. The act of process of making become worse or less value. 
how do you use it macam mana kamu gunakan perkataan itu jadi kamu hanya perlu type perkataan tu di sini di search di sini dan tekan carian okey dan dia akan tunjukkan kamu boleh guna sebagai dictionary. Jadi Britannica Kids juga kamu boleh gunakan sebagai dictionary. If you doing an exercise on that, you can open this website and minimize it. Boleh minimaskan. Contoh saya type complicated. Dan dia akan keluar. Okay. You search for complicated. Okey, macam mana nak sebut? Okey. Kemudian dia beritahu, apa maksud perkataan, combine parts, complementary machine, difficult to analyze, complicated. Dan kamu boleh pergi ke articles, image, videos, websites yang ada menggunakan perkataan complicated. Okay, contohnya kalau saya type video, complicated, dia, your search for complicated, dia kata apa di sini. Ini penting. Sorry, we were unable to find result for your search at the student's level. Maksudnya, perkataan ini jarang digunakan di level student. Dia banyak digunakan di level scholars yang lebih tinggi. Umur 13 dan ke atas. Okey, perkataan ini. Itu gunanya dia ada articles, image. Jadi, kalau kamu tekan dekat articles yang ada perkataan complicated, dia akan bagi kamu articles. Apa yang ada? Okay, artikel ni bukan uh, ender tu, artikel ni adalah rencana. Okey. Next. Okey, we go back to the main website. Okey, tengok di sini. Now. <coughs> Kita tengok balik pada students, grade 6 to 8. Kita buka di biografi, ada image, videos. Okay, we look at videos, for example. If you look at videos, there are also hundreds and hundreds of video here. And it is put under category. Okay, now, philosophy and religion. So, I would like to go to one that is quite very interesting for, for you, is plants. Okay, at the same time, if you use this website, you are not only going to learn English, you will also learn about science and you can learn about math. You can learn about everything and anything from this website. Okay, if you choose one. Okay, I choose how flowering plants reproduce. Okay, pendebungaan. Bagaimana haiwan? Uh, sorry, tumbuhan. Pendebungaan yang berlaku pada tumbuhan. Pendebungaan. Okey, saya ambil satu video. The Secret World of Herbs. Saliconia. Okey, dia akan tunjukkan satu satu video. It's Saliconia. Okey, and we also explain to you word or marsh macam sanfire. mana tumbuhan ini tumbuh. Okey, what the coast uh, and easily the factors needed for it to grow. Sunshine, water. Dia akan cerita satu persatu. Okay. And then, we go back to Britannica Kids yang tadi. Kita akan tengok, we will take to ABC yang kita guna huruf di bawah ni. I will show you what is the function of these letters. Okay. If you choose one G, for example. Okay. Okay, browse articles. That everything that start with the letter G will come out. Galaxy, Jelio, Gulgen, Gamma, Gambia River, Gandhi, Indra, okay, Ganges River, everything. So, anything. If you want to learn a certain topic, you just have to type in the word. For example, you want to learn about ambition. So, you go to the letter A and look for the word ambition and I will explain to you what is ambition, what is the meaning of the word, everything, anything, everything uh, pertaining ambition. Okay? For example, if I choose galaxy here, see, introduction to galaxy is a group of stars, clouds, ini agak tinggi untuk kamu, tapi Saya nak tahu banyak. This is something that really that we are really really a mystery for us. Dan kita nak tahu benda-benda yang tentang angkasa-angkasa ni, galaksi, galaksi. So a galaxy is a group of stars, cloud and gas, a dust particles that move together through a universe. Baik. Kamu tengokkan perhatikan di sini. Bila kamu pergi sendiri nanti, if you go on your own, 
you must notice that certain words here are highlighted and it is in different color. In this case, it is in blue. So, these are hyperlinked to other topic. Contoh, bila kamu pergi sini, a galaxy is a group of stars. So, the word is hyperlinked to, uh, it, it is highlighted here in blue. So, if you click on the word, it will go to that particular subject, stars. Then, it will explain to you what is a star. Apa dia bintang? If you uh, click the word Milky Way Galaxy, for example, it will show you, it will go to that particular topic. Baik, dia kalau kamu dengar tentang haiwan di sini, uh, talking about uh, gorilla, for example, and that ada perkataan-perkataan yang di-highlighted kan. Jadi, what you are learning is collocate with each other. Semua tu berhubung kait. Kamu boleh improve your English and improve your knowledge. Okay, your general knowledge. Okay, Milky Way Galaxy, stars, universe. If I click one, it will come to the Milky Way. So, it will explain to you what is the Milky Way. Maybe I have one topic. It's quite difficult for you to understand. Tapi, tapi kamu boleh pergi topic yang kamu senang nak faham. Okay? Look here. Okay. Now. Okey. Kita pergi kepada uh, kamu tengoklah sini kid student semua ini animal kingdom. Okey. Kalau saya ambil dictionary for example apa yang perlu. Okey. Kamu boleh tengok scholars lebih tinggi. It's quite high for you. Okey. Okey. I will not be able to show you everything in here. Susah untuk saya tunjuk satu Satu persatu kepada kamu. We have no time to do that. But what you have to do is here is to go through everything. Okay, there are three now uh, website that I've introduced to you. One, if you can remember, is that uh, just now the first, the last week. Okay, not the search engine, the website. Okay, Cambridge English. That is a serious uh, way to learn and study English, Cambridge. And then I've given you two here for you to learn English in more. Uh, cara yang lebih menyeronokkan lah. It's a fun way for you to learn English. At the same time, increase your general knowledge. Menambahkan ilmu pengetahuan yang saya rasa perlu untuk kamu. Now, kalau kamu tengok, uh, kita dah selesaikan uh, tiga website dan saya akan berhenti di sini untuk membincangkan tentang website you have to do on your own ok, you have to do on your own why is the reason that I share with you is that the school is still off we do not know when the school is going to open reopen we do not know so you have lots of time in your hand and you need to learn things on your own Okay, ini kita panggil normal baru. Okay, you have to go through. Uh, I hope that you have access to computer and internet. Okay, don't worry. If you go to Cambridge English, you can surf the website using your handphone. Saya percaya ramai anak-anak yang punya handphone sendiri. Okay, you have your own handphone. Okay, daripada kamu main game, daripada kamu buka Facebook, apa book yang... Uh, give you uh, tidak ada uh, orang kata benda yang bagus untuk kamu there's nothing good in you for you in social media okay, social media ni to me is 80% junk 20% saja ada yang betulnya ataupun 60-40 macam tu but lot of junk, lot of rubbish ok, now uh, thank you for watching thank you for watching now, uh, I've told you, uh, I've shared with you last week these three things, but I really need to share it again with you. Number one, if you go on online study tips, okay, online study tips, if you go online, number one, never open unsafe and dangerous website. Okay, ini yang sangat-sangat bahaya. The website yang, yang senang saya cakap lah, lucah, yang jahat ni, kamu senang kan nak buka? Nowadays, 
Tak ada masalah. Tak macam zaman saya dulu. Tak ada benda-benda ni semua. Handphone pun tak ada zaman tu. Okey. Jadi zaman kamu ni cabarannya lebih luas. Kamu lebih banyak challenge in your life. But you have to be true to yourself. Do not open unsafe and dangerous website. Okey, ini boleh uh, merosakkan, it will corrupt your mind. Okey. Yang kedua, ask permission from parents before going online. Saya tahu, kalau telefon pun, kamu nak online, sebenarnya you have to ask permission from your parents. Kena minta izin daripada ibu bapa. Ataupun abang atau kakak yang lebih dewasa pada kamu. Okay? Never go online without any permission. Number three, never give negative comment to to any website or social media. Bila kamu buka website macam uh, Cambridge English, kamu boleh tinggalkan pendapat kamu di ruangan yang disediakan. Okay? Yang dua tadi tak boleh lah. Kalau kamu tengok website-website belajar, dia akan kata, please give comments of suggestion to upgrade. Ha, dia pergi macam tu. Jadi, kamu jangan tulis yang bukan-bukan. Okay? Kalau kamu betul-betul faham dan kamu betul-betul nak bagi comment, if you really want to give a comment atau cadangan for you to make it easier for you to access, to gain knowledge, boleh bincang dengan orang yang lebih tahu, karang ayat elok-elok and put it down. Write it down. Okay? Give your comment. But never give negative comment to any website or social media. Macam saya kata minggu sudah, once benda tu ada di alam internet ni, alam cyber ni, dia tidak akan boleh delete. Tidak akan boleh delete. Okay? If you take a picture, uh, pelajar perempuan terutamanya, if you take a picture, uh, kamu tidak menutup awat. Okay? Kamu letak gambar kamu dalam mana-mana laman web dan dia akan ada di situ akan dilihat oleh berjuta-juta, beratus juta, berbilion orang sehari-hari kamu akan tanggung dosa tu. Okay, if you give something that is very bad kamu ada satu benda yang tak elok masuklah YouTube, orang lain ikut ha, lagi berlipat ganda lah. Okay, contoh kamu buat video dalam YouTube macam mana nak buka kunci tanpa kunci ketuk-ketuk dawai buka kunci dan ada orang belajar daripada video kamu tu dan dia jadi perompak. Dia jadi pencuri. Kamu tanggunglah. Okay? But before I end, uh, I hope that these two hours I shared with you on how to use internet to learn uh, can really help you. Can really, really help you to enrich your vocabulary. Okay? Uh, enrich your... Uh, general knowledge and help you to learn English better. Okay, sebelum saya habis, sama juga setiap minggu saya kata thank you frontliners. Okay, kita masuk dalam fasa yang lebih susah sekarang ni. Because Hari Raya is coming, many people are coming to our house. I don't know why, how are we going to control okay, our social distance, jarak social kita macam mana. Okey, saya akan berhenti di sini wabillahi taufiq wa hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh.